So how would you like to get this very sweet PowerPoint video template absolutely free? No opt-in or wallet required. Just click the link below to immediately download it and follow along with me as I show you how to modify it. You aren't going to believe how easy this is. The first time you open it, there will be a button that says Enable Editing. Just go ahead and click that. And we're ready to get started. And before you do anything else, go to File, Save As, Browse to a location on your computer, and save your new template with a different name. You do not want to screw up your master copy. Let's start off with talking about how to change the images. This slide deck has 20 of them, and you're going to want them to be in 16x9 widescreen format and high quality. From the Home tab, go over to Select and choose the Selection Pane. You can also click the card and watch my tutorial on how to add this handy tool to your Quick Access Toolbar. Then go ahead and say Hide All. This will hide all the objects on the slide, but I still have a picture here. So this tells me that this is a background image. So go ahead and right click on it and say Format Background. Under the Fill icon, go to File and select your first image. Click the Show All button to bring all of the objects back, and that's pretty much it. You can go ahead and preview it by going to the Animations tab and clicking the Preview button. Let's move to the next slide and basically repeat the same process. Hide All, right click, Format Background, from Fill, choose File. Pick your next image and show all. Preview. You can also do a preview by clicking the little star next to the slide. And that's pretty much it. Just repeat that process for each of the slides in the slide deck. And you can also certainly modify any of the text elements on the slides, just like we would normally to edit text. And these elements can be moved anywhere you'd like to have them on the slide and won't mess up any of the animations. For this particular slide deck, you'll also need to have the Bebus font installed, so just Google that if you don't have it. Here are a couple of extra tips for you. These slides use the Morph Transition, which is part of the beauty of why they're so easy to modify and how cool the resulting effect is. But let's say the slides move a little too fast for you. You want to slow things down a little bit. Since it is a transition, what you can do is set the duration that the slide will stay on the screen after the transition takes place. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to 4 seconds. And now, after the transition takes place, the slide will go ahead and sit there for 4 seconds before transitioning to the next slide. You can also slow down the speed at which the transition takes place by changing the duration value here. Change it to 2 seconds and preview it you'll see the morph happens much slower. If you'd like to check out all the templates in the Zinimax One collection, just click the link below, and I've also got some nice bonuses lined up for you as well. And if you'd like to dig a little deeper under the covers and get more tips and tricks on how to use these templates, I put together an advanced tutorial that we really dive more into all of the aspects and the technical innovations that make these slides so cool. Hey, enjoy! Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.